بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay the next thing we'll try to get into the configuration of EHRP Now the EHRP configuration is very simple and straight forward like let's assume there are three routers here and i want to run ehrp between these three routers the configuration goes like router ehrp so the first command we need to say router and then we are going to specify which routing protocol i want to use like if i just get into my topology here let's say on the router 1 so the first thing i am going to say router and then we are going to select which routing protocol you want to use So in my example, I'll be using EHRP. So we say EHRP, and then you need to define something called autonomous system number. Now there is an option of autonomous system number you have to define. So let's see what is autonomous system number here. Now same like in OSPF, we can run multiple OSPF instances. So similar way with the help of autonomous system number, which I can use from one to sixty-five thousand five thirty-five. this will allow you to run multiple ehrp instances like if i if i say let's say especially in a, in some kind of service provider scenarios where you run some mpls networks now you will be having some pe router the provider edge router will be connecting to multiple customers let's say it is connecting to customer a customer b and customer c and customer d so you will be running some kind of routing between these routers So you know, let's say I'm running EHRP here. Now probably you are also running EHRP for the routing between these customer B and the service provider. I'm also using EHRP here, also using EHRP here. But again, the problem comes when you are advertising the routes of the customer A. Let's say the customer A is using 192.168.1. Subnet. So as the router is establishing neighborship with the service provider router, it will advertise the routes to the this router. and this router is also establishing the neighbor relationship with these routers and they are also running the same ehrp protocol so there is a possibility that these routes may get advertised to the other customers also so there must be some kind of differentiation so to differentiate the service port is going to run the pe router is going to run a separate ehrp for each and every customer like it's going to run ehrp 100 let's say 200 for the customer b and 300 for the customer c and 400 for the customer d so which means this with the help of autonomous system number same like in ospf we use process id the same concept applies here in ospf uh, we call it as a process id and whereas in ehrp we call this as autonomous system number so when you are using this option this is going to allow you to run multiple instances of the ehrp or ospf whatever the protocol running and by default whatever the routes coming on ehrp 100 even though this router is running ehrp 200 also and by default there won't be any exchange of the routes between them so by default different autonomous system members they don't exchange the routes so the main uh, reason of uh, defining this autonomous system number is to allow to run multiple ehrp process or instances and again each process is going to operate under a separate autonomous system number and every router operating in the same autonomous system number is referred as same routing domain so which means let's say i'm running this router 1 2 4 and 3 these three router these four routers are running ehrp 100 which means they belong to one separate routing domain and this router 3 is also running let's say 200 so it's running 200 now this will become a separate routing domain so by default there is no exchange of the routes between one as to another as unless you manually want with the help of some redistribution you can still do that but by default there is no exchange of the routes so every autonomous system will be treated as a separate routing domain and again the metric calculation the exchange of the routes the way it works it's the same thing within the same autonomous system member and one more thing you need to know when we configure the ehrp if i'm using the autonomous system number of 100 here the neighbor router also must be running the same as so the router will only exchange the routes 
or establish the neighbor relationship only when this AS number matches. So this number has to match compulsory in order to form the neighbors in order to exchange the routes. So this is like compulsory. So the EHR PS number has to match on all the routers in order to establish the neighbor relationship also to exchange the routes. And one more thing you need to just keep in mind this AS number what we use here. This has nothing to do with the BGP AS number. Because typically we use this BGP autonomous system number concept in BGP concepts as well. Later on in the BGP sections we'll see that. But whatever the AS number we use over there or here, there is no relation here. So which means uh, in BGP AS number is totally different concept, especially with internet related. We uh, will be talking more on that in the BGP topics. But here, when we are using EHRP AS number, we can use any AS number, it's up to you. It means it's not compulsory that you contact the service provider and get the AS number. It's not like that. You can run any autonomous system number within your organization and probably make sure that you're running the same autonomous system number in all the routers to exchange the routes, to establish the neighbor relationship and exchange the routes. So, which means when you are trying to configure the EHRP on these three routers, in my example, we need to make sure that the AS number has to match in all the routers. Then only the router one and router two will form the neighbors and exchange the routes. Likewise, the same thing between router two and the router three also the autonomous system number has to match. But again, remember in OSPF also you have a similar concept, but in OSPF no need to match, not compulsory to match. Uh, because in OSPF we use a process ID and that number not compulsory to match. You will see that in the OSPF sections, but in EHRP it has to match. And once we define this AS number, so I'm using, let's say I'm using 100 here. And then we need to advertise our own networks. The advertisement are like the router one is going to advertise its own networks. So advertise your networks, whatever you have, local networks. Similar with these two networks I'll advertise. We say 192.168.1.0 and 10.0. So I can simply go and advertise those networks. Anyway, I don't have the same networks here, but I'll quickly show you the configuration here. 192.168.1.0 network. We can go and advertise 10.0 network. Now, when you are advertising, there is one option. You can also use wildcard bits. Now the wildcard bits are optional here, which means whenever you are advertising, if I'm saying 192.168.1.0 without any wildcard mask, by default, all the networks with a default slash value means any network which comes in this range, 192.168.1 will be advertised automatically. So it means that let's say on my router, I got three interfaces, three LAN interfaces, and one of the interface is using 192.168.1.0 slash 27. And another interface is using 192.168.1.64 slash 27. Assume these are the VLANs what we have in our local uh, network, the LAN. Another is using, let's say, something like this. Now, if you want to advertise these three subnets, then you don't need to go and advertise individually. You can simply go and say network 192.168.1.0 automatically all the subnets which falls in the default range. Now default means C class, first three portions, B class, first two portions, A class, one portion, right? So these three networks will be advertised. But let's say you want to be more specific. Means let's say my requirement is I want to advertise only this subnet, not these two. Maybe these two are advertised in different protocol or maybe whatever the reason. So I can specifically go and say network 192.168.1.0 and I need to specify the wildcard mask. Now again, the wildcard mask to calculate, we have to subtract from all 255s. What is the subnet mask? Slash 27 means 255, 255, 255, 224. So the wildcard mask will be, if you subtract 000 and 31. So we need to advertise as 00031. So if you want to be more specific, then we use wildcard mask. If you're not really bothered, you know, Maybe you, you, you just want these interfaces also will be advertised. You can either do this way or this way. Okay, so there are two ways you can advertise. Depends upon the requirement. If you want to be more specific, we can always use the wildcard mask. So similar way here, I'm not using wildcard mask, but let's say I want to be more specific here. Let's say 
I want to advertise only that particular one IP, then I can say 10.001 and 0000. Because for one IP, you generally need use a wildcard mask of all zeros. Likewise, the same thing with router two as well as router three as well. Okay, you can be more specific. Like if you want to advertise slash 30, then we can say 0003, 0003. Because I'm not using subnets here. So I'm just going with the defaults in this example. Okay, so let's see, let's see the configuration example here. So I'll be using four routers topology, which is already pre-configured here. So I started all the four routers and we'll try to verify the basic configuration here. So I decided to use AS number. So any AS number, whatever we use, it has to match in all the routers because I want these four routers to exchange the prefixes between them. So I have to use any one AS number, use any number, like I'm using 100 here. And this number has nothing to do with service provider or any other customer. So it's your local company, you decide your own AS number. And then I'm going to advertise the 10 dot network. And most of the time, uh, the WAN interfaces, we prefer to advertise one IP. So we use always the wildcard mask like that. But again, it's not compulsory. You can be more specific or you can uh, advertise like this. Now, same way, if I go to router two here, on the router two also, I'm going to configure router the EHR to 100, advertise 20 dot subnet. And of course, I do have one dot network and two dot network. Two dot network is my the interface which is connecting between two and three. So you can see when I advertise the one in one on both the sides, automatically these two form the neighbor relationship and you can see that neighbor relationship message over there. Likewise, the same thing, I'm going to do it on the router three as well quickly. Router EHRP 100 the LAN interface and the WAN interface. So WAN interfaces are three and two. And likewise on the router four also, I'm going to advertise the interfaces. 40 dot network is my LAN interface and four and three are my WAN interfaces. Okay, so, so once we are done with the configurations, so the next step is we can go ahead and verify the neighbor relationship. Neighborship, we can verify with show IP HRP neighbors. Now here you can see these are the two neighbors and the respective interfaces they are connecting. You can verify the topology the routing table here, show IP route EHRP. You can see the specific routes to reach these specific subnets like 90 is the AD value and the cost values. And you can see to reach this uh, 30 dot network, it is installing both the routes because of the load balancing because on this both the routes you have the same bandwidth here also the same bandwidth and of course the delay is also same 20,000 microseconds on all the interfaces so you get the same cost values so whenever a router routing protocol like EHRP or OSPF when it comes with the same cost on both the sides and both are best it will install both the routes in the routing table you can see these are the cost values again of course, we'll also talk about more on the topology table probably when we get into the, some advanced topics. But here you'll see some topology table as well. So this is how we can go ahead and verify the basic uh, options. So verifying the routing table as well as the EHRP table. We'll talk about more on the topology table once we discuss some of the advanced topics.